Imposter syndrome is a real problem because it affects the way that you show up in the world. Everybody wants to be their best. Everybody wants to provide their best and everybody wants to deliver their best, especially in their work or with their family or whatever it is. So imposter syndrome is a problem because it prevents you from doing just that. Are you a self-diminisher? Somebody who wants to stay in the background. Someone who never wants to cause attention or draw attention to themselves. Somebody who makes themselves smaller because you have doubts about what you can really do. Or maybe you're a procrastinator. Somebody who always puts things off, has a never-ending list that stops you from getting to the thing you really need to do and always has an excuse as to why you can't just get it done. Or maybe the real reason is that you delay because you want to avoid a bad outcome. Maybe you don't want to fail. Maybe you're worried what other people will think of you. Whatever it is, it's holding you back. Or are you a people pleaser? You're only happy if other people think you're doing well. And so if they don't think you can do this, then that's more reason not to try. Or if they don't give you the confidence or value that you need, then that's more reasons why you you will fail. That is a problem because actually you are the only one that can determine how successful you are going to be. That will get in your way. Are you an overworker? Somebody who puts in all the hours, works extra hard and goes 110% every time. The issue with that is it still prevents you from being your best. Nobody can be working all the time and effectively if they're burnt out. Nobody can sustain that if they're then ill. Working long hours and working hard does not equate to your worth or your value or you being able to be worthy of the thing that you want to achieve. You can still achieve those things by putting in less effort and working efficiently and smarter rather than harder. Or are you a perfectionist? You're only willing to take a risk and do the thing if you can guarantee that you're going to get it 100% right. My friend, nobody is perfect. So again, this is going to hold you back and you are going to stress yourself out trying to get the most minuscule details together when actually you don't need everything. What you have is enough. All the things that I've mentioned are ways that imposter syndrome may be showing up for you right now. But I have good news. You can overcome imposter syndrome. You can experience confidence and not worry about what other people think or how well you're doing. You can take risks. You can be brave enough to just be out there and be bold and figure it out as you go along. It's possible. I know it's possible because I've done it too. Do you know what's at the centre of all of these different types? it is self-confidence, it is self-esteem. If you really want to break imposter syndrome, you have to work on yourself. You are the only one that can really change you. You have to build your confidence and that takes time. 